Hello and happy Back Together Weekend from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. But remember, you don't have to get back together if you never fell apart in the first place. This is too good. Trump walks on stage in Iowa just as the Brooks and Dunn walk-on music hits the lyric, going to prison, proving two things. God has a tremendous sense of humor, and there are still quiet American heroes walking among us. That was great. All right, so the Astros score a season-high 17 runs last night in blowing out the Rays. Meantime, the Rangers lost to the Padres yet again, that means the Astros now within a one game of the Rangers in the American League West, but it gets interesting because the Rangers pull off a trade. They get three-time Cy Young Award winner Max Scherzer from the Mets. Yeah, they're going for it right now, no question about it. So the question now becomes, do the Astros try to counter by somehow bringing Verlander back? Hmm, that could happen. All respect to veteran NFL running back Sony Michelle, who announced his retirement yesterday with the Rams. He would have been going into his seventh season in the NFL. Of course, he won Super Bowls with both the Patriots and the Rams. He finally told Rams coach Sean McVay, my body's talking to me. I get it. And by the way, there was a bond of mutual respect. McVay called Michelle the epitome of a pro. All right, so Zeke to the Patriots, maybe? That could happen because he is still a vicious, vicious pass protector. Mac Jones could use that, and you better know the hoodie gets it. Okay, so Dak turned 30 yesterday, and I've heard all the stuff and read all the articles. If you don't get it done by the time you're 30, you're not going to get it done. I respectfully disagree. Dak still has the skill set and the resolve to get the Cowboys where they want to go, but only if Mike McCarthy makes good on his promise to run the football more. Are you listening? Um, what is it with radio talk show hosts, particularly radio sports talk show hosts and their death wishes? Do you hear about this? All right, there's a dude in DC, at least there was a dude in the DC media market named Don Geronimo and he is a sports talk show host for the Commander's radio partner, iHeartMedia, in that market. All right, so he's doing a show from the Commander's facility, and he spots a local woman television anchor who had come to the facility to do her job. And he says, on air, hey, look, Barbie's here. Hey, Barbie girl later refers to her as that chick and says, I'm guessing she's a cheerleader. Well, what do you know? This particular anchor, Charlotte McBride, took exception to that. Can you imagine that? And keep in mind, the commanders are a little sensitive right now, given what they went through with Dan Snyder for all of those years. So the commanders demanded that the radio station fire this guy whose on-air name is Don Geronimo. Geronimo career! Wouldn't it have been easier and quicker to just blow your own head off? Hmm, I'm wondering. Okay, this made me smile, so let me leave you for now, and I hope you have a good time on Back Together Weekend. But there was a headline on a media website this morning that says, mouth breathing may be ruining your sleep. One more reason why today's GOP is a threat to us all. Have a good Sunday. We're radically rational.